Hey everyone, in this video we will go through the process of assembling a daily fantasy NBA team using portfolio optimization techniques borrowed from Quant Finance. In the last video, we defined a mean fantasy points per game factor. Using AlphaLens, a tool for analyzing factors in quantitative finance, we found that our factor appeared to be predictive of future performance. If you would like to see the process of creating a factor in detail, check out our last video, linked on screen and in the description below. Now that we have a factor that looks predictive, we should come up with a set of rules to assemble a team based on that factor. In quant finance, the analogous process to assembling a team in DFS is assembling a portfolio of stocks. This is usually referred to as a portfolio optimization problem. In portfolio optimization, the goal is to maximize the expected return of a portfolio according to an objective function while adhering to a set of constraints. The objective function is usually based on an alpha factor, while constraints are often associated with financial risk. In DFS, we have a similar problem to solve. We want to build a team that maximizes our expected fantasy points based on our factor, while respecting the rules or constraints of a DFS game. In our notebook, we will attempt to assemble a team of players for a game of DFS basketball using the DraftKings NBA rules. The DraftKings rules state that, the fantasy team must be composed of exactly eight players. The sum of the fictional player salaries in a fantasy team must be less than $50,000. A fantasy team must include players from at least two NBA teams. A fantasy team must include at least one player classified in each of the following positions, point guard, shooting guard, power forward, small forward, center, guard, which can be either point guard or shooting guard, forward, which can be either power forward or small forward, and utility, which can be occupied by a player of any position. Quantopian's Optimize API makes it easy to define an optimization problem. At a high level, the Optimize API lets us specify an objective and a set of constraints, and then uses a convex optimization solver to output a target portfolio. To assemble our fantasy team, we will set the objective function to be the trailing mean fantasy points per game factor, and we will define a constraint for each DraftKings rule. To start, we need to do a bit of data formatting. This cell formats the fictional salary and player position information in a way that will make it easier to define constraints later on. In the next cell, we index into our mean fantasy points factor to select scores for one day only, December 1st, 2017. This is necessary because we will be using the optimizer to construct a team one day at a time. We also drop any players who don't have a fictional salary in DraftKings since they can't be selected. Now that our data is formatted correctly, we can define our objective and constraints. In this cell, we define our objective using the Optimize API's Maximize Alpha function. Maximize Alpha tells the optimizer to try to maximize the value of the team according to the factor we provide. This means the optimizer will try to pick the team with the highest mean fantasy points per game. Next, we need to define our constraints. At this point, it's worth noting that we have to use some of Quantopian's optimized features in interesting ways in order to define our DFS constraints. Without getting into too much detail, we essentially define DFS constraints in a way that is analogous to defining risk factor constraints and position concentration limits in quant finance. If you want to learn more about exactly how this is done, check out the documentation for the Optimize API on Quantopian, linked on screen and in the description below. I should also point out that in order to simplify the code, we loosened the positional constraint to only require three forwards, three guards, a center, and a utility player. Finally, we pass our objective and constraints to the Calculate Optimal Portfolio function, which is part of the Optimize API. With a couple of lines of code, we could output the result of the optimizer in a format that we could use to submit to DraftKings. At this point, the results appear to fit what we need, but there's one problem. The optimizer has actually selected nine players instead of eight and asked us to pick 46% of Alec Burns and 54% of Jimmy Butler. This doesn't follow the rules of DFS. We can't pick fractions of players. In quantitative finance, we usually define portfolio holdings in terms of percentages or weights, so a percentage makes sense, but this doesn't translate directly to DFS. Unfortunately, 
There isn't a good way to solve this problem in the Optimize API, as it was designed to be a tool used in quant finance. Instead, we'll have to define our optimization problem using CVXPy, an open source Python library for convex optimization. Quantopian's Optimize API actually uses CVXPy under the hood, so we should be able to approach the problem of selecting our fantasy team in a similar way to what we just did with the Optimize API. As usual, we'll start by formatting the data for our CVXPy use case in these two cells. Note that this time, we will follow the exact positional DraftKings rules instead of the simplified version we used with the Optimize API. Once our data is properly formatted, we can create our objective and our constraints using classes from the CVXPy library. Again, I'm going to gloss over the implementation details here, but you can take a closer look at the code by copying the notebook from the link on screen or in the description below. At the bottom of this cell, we can then create a CVXPy convex optimization problem and ask CVXPy to solve it using a specific solver. I'm not going to discuss how you should pick a solver, as Google is more qualified than I am to explain it. Once we ask CVXPy to solve the problem we defined, we will get the fantasy team we should pick along with their expected score. This time, we are following all the DraftKings NBA rules exactly. And with that, we have picked a daily fantasy NBA team using techniques and tools borrowed from Quant Finance. As a last step, we will create a simple backtester that runs the above optimization once for each day in the 2017-2018 NBA regular season. Note that this cell effectively runs the CVXPy optimization in a loop. In the following cell, we plot what our expected score and actual score would have been on each day of the backtest. Looking at the result, it seems our strategy doesn't achieve the results we expected it to. There are a number of reasons why this could be the case. For example, it's possible that players who have had recent success are likely to regress back to their steady scoring state so our strategy might pick players who are overvalued. In both quantitative finance and daily fantasy sports, the hardest problem is forecasting results of an asset or player in the future. If we wanted to spend more time working on our strategy, we could go back and further analyze our factor, or we could try experimenting with new ideas. This is similar to how we'd address an unexpected simulation result in quantitative finance. To recap, in this video, we looked at daily fantasy sports using quantitative finance tools. We created a factor and tested its ability to predict fantasy points using AlphaLens. We used Quantopian's Optimize API and CVXPy to build an optimal fantasy team on one day. And lastly, we ran our optimization in a simulation over the course of the entire 2017-2018 NBA regular season. That's it for this video series. What I'm hoping that you take away from these videos is that there are many analogous concepts between quantitative finance and daily fantasy sports. We showed this by repurposing tools designed for quant finance to help us construct a daily fantasy sports team. This means that we might be able to share ideas between the two fields. Especially when it comes to tools and techniques, we might be able to borrow from success stories in daily fantasy sports and apply them in quantitative finance. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel using the button below to learn more about quant finance.